What is going on you lots? Midi here. So I've just finished watching Gun Interactive stream where they're basically talking about all of the upcoming changes to the game. So you know what I thought? Let's change it up a little bit. Let's talk about the updates, some of the things that we can look forward to. We've got some new skins, we've got some new finishers, a new map, some free stuff that are going to be given away. Kind of like a single player game mode too. And a whole lot of changes coming to Lever Phase, coming to some of the meta perks that all the victims are using. There's big changes. Let's just say that. So I just noted down things that they were talking about throughout the stream. And the first one's going to be the grappling. So you know whenever you go into a grappling encounter with a family member another family walks over you know hits you once that's it you're out of the game they're actually changing this where instead you're actually going to take damage maybe if you went into a close encounter with anna you activate her ability and another family member comes over and starts hitting you you're completely fine it's going to make grappling super effective i mean you don't have to worry about getting one hit out of the game now you can use this as a massive distraction if you're doing this with an anna or a leland you know you just max out your toughness completely it's going to take two family members to come over to help you out by that time every other victim can just slip away but i know for sure and you gotta remember that i'm 50 50 with this i always play victim and i play killer for the killer side it's gonna suck i mean unless you've got a leather face nearby that's got an overhead swing ready and waiting it can probably one shot them anyway unless they're running no sell or it's anna using their ability that's when you're gonna have to realize certain victims are more high value targets if you see a connie if you see a danny that's who you need to lock on to if you see a leland or maybe an anna just running about you kind of need to ignore them you know you need to just guard the area watch the doors if they keep getting into these close encounters with you let them you know let them waste their time but i think if two killers go over there to sort one person out you're going to be wasting a lot of resources you know on actually trying to defend the area the next thing to talk about is the instant leather face chainsaw so if you turn your chainsaw off you pretty much become super silent you can actually sneak up on people i've almost done this before where there was a sunny at gas station he could have just escaped i ended up turning off my chainsaw walking the whole long way round, and when i was really close to him i turned back on my chainsaw but because the animation took so long he had time to just get away they've actually done it so when you activate your chainsaw there's pretty much going to be little to no animation you know it's going to instantly start the chainsaw and you should be able to attack someone straight away which means rough cut could work really well here it's a sort of play style i guess in basement where you don't want someone to know exactly where you are it does make for a few sneaky plays as leather face almost like jump scares you can see if someone's unlocking a door get close enough then activate the chainsaw and get some hits off that sometimes could be better at landing hits off than just running about with your chainsaw victims are going to be able to hear it a mile off they can just hide it's a little change but i still think it's cool and another thing that they're going to change with Leatherface is they're going to reduce the time it takes to destroy the barricades. I think they said they're going to reduce the time by about two seconds, which is pretty fast. I mean, how long is it normally? About three seconds around that time? So imagine you shave off two seconds. This is going to be almost instant. And this is huge because we all thought this was going to be a perk that they might add. But instead, they're just going to buff him up a little bit. And for maps like Gas Station that have so many barricades, you're just spending less time destroying stuff. And it's going to give people a lot more of an incentive to go around and actually break stuff. They did speak about nerfing Poison Claws on Nancy. I think we all realized that when we started playing her from the start i mean look if a poison's lasting over 10 seconds it's massive another killer poke that we were talking about was easily tuckered out it is a poke that i run on johnny whereas if you get to level three it says your attacks use 50 percent less stamina but your stamina regeneration rate is 40 percent slower i'm pretty sure they spoke about how your attacks are going to be using 40 percent less stamina instead of 50 it's like not a huge nerf but it's slightly there now the next two perks i'm going to be talking about are going to be kind of controversial they are the most used perks in victims and that is going to be choose fly and bomb squad and it's going to be some bad news for you so choose flight normally has three charges when you get this to level three you guys already know how this works your stamina goes to the bottom and it just recharges back up to the top again and with the recent nerf to choose flight you pretty much only get one charge and once that's gone the perk is basically inactive again so even if you mistakenly get your stamina quite low and then you know you go over the threshold that's it that's choose flight done so when your stamina goes down to the bottom it's going to recharge it back up to the top just once per match all i can tell you now is that if you've got a hitchhiker that's running scout and wireframe he's going to be able to catch up with you very quickly so choose flight that massive nerf you guys got let me know in the comments what you think about it i mean yeah the next perk that i want to talk about is going to be bomb squad so this is actually going to work off charges now so you only get free charges i don't know if you still keep the disarm speed i mean if they get rid of that and you only get the free charges bomb squad's going to be another perk that you will not even bother with you know if you still keep the disarm speed then i think yeah it's still got used to it are you going to be disabling more than three traps in the entire game probably not you know you only get rid of some of the key ones the hitchhiker is putting down they did say they'll tweak some things with these perks maybe if it comes out and it's like you know two nerf then i'll probably make like an adjustment to it so some really big changes to the most meta perks in the game for victims i know there's a lot of you that are probably you know questioning it but it adds a new dynamic to the game you know you're not going to be able to just loot killers for so long you're going to have to play it a lot more sneaky they've always said that they want to try and implement more sort of stealth play into the game instead of just looping you know the killers for ages another important change that we knew was coming was of course going to be the danny nerf and they've said that he won't be able to instantly tap without a good portion of knowledge the less knowledge he has the longer it's going to take for him to tamper so i still think he'll be able to do that instant tap ability but you're going to need so much knowledge where it takes you a lot of time to go around the map study every single thing 
then go upstairs, you know, study even more, wait for that bar to go up to the top. And believe me, it does take a bit of time. Only then will you be able to tap an exit. But then, you know, that gives you a lot more time to maybe get another victim out of the game, prep a lot easier, especially on certain maps like gas station where the fuse is so close to the fuse box. It's just going to slow Danny down a little bit. And I think it was truly needed. But now I want to be talking about the new content in the game, which is going to be some of the skins, the execution packs, a new map. And they were discussing how they're going to make these finishers a lot more violent and gory, which, you know, I'm all for it. I'm a massive fan of Mortal Kombat. I already thought the sissy ones were pretty gruesome, but now they're going to be amping it up. So it's going to be pretty crazy. We're going to be getting some weapon skins where you're going to have different varieties of weapons that you can equip on each killer. So maybe it's going to be like a different knife for the hitchhiker. Maybe it's going to be a different weapon for the Johnny, which would be quite cool. I do think that's a lot better than just having like a skin that's been recolored or something like that. If they actually change the variety of weapons you can pick from, especially for your favorite killer character, I just think it's a lot better. They said they're going to be adding a museum mode so you can walk around like the family house. You can just see stuff behind the scenes, stuff to do with the movie. Movie. and they said there'll be puzzles in the game and maybe there's just some mysterious stuff or easter eggs that you can actually unlock which is quite cool and i'd like to hope that you can actually walk around the entire map so i can actually learn you know some new spots where to actually put my hitchhiker traps i've actually always wanted that sort of like a custom game mode where you could just go into the map you know see where you can place your trap especially as killer or even as victim if you're learning new maps be good to walk around them but yeah they said they were going to add this museum mode and it's going to be completely free which is really cool especially for some of you guys that are just single player only i think some of you are going to like it and he said the majority of this stuff was going to come into a 90 day period period so it's going to be stretched across and we're going to get little bits of content here and there which is quite nice instead of just having it all you know straight away put in your face some really cool skins that i want to talk about is going to be the bride sissy skin so she's pretty much going to be in a wedding outfit whether this is going to be blood stained or not i don't know but this just sounds like a really cool concept hopefully within that patch you know there's going to be a sissy buff everyone's going to be playing her again you're going to be sprinting about in a wedding outfit come on it sounds pretty cool and the best part about this both of these skins that i'm going to mention they're going to be completely free so you don't even have to buy these and the next skin that i want to talk about you lot knew it was coming shirtless johnny yes we're going to get a shirtless johnny look look at him t-shirt in the front pocket he ain't messing about and you can bet i'm going to be sprinting around the map at 40 miles per hour with my nipples hanging out of course why wouldn't i it's a long awaited skin and another really cool thing it's going to be completely free another massive thing that's being put into the game is going to be a brand new map called the mill you've got the main part of this lumber mill which has like three floors that you can go right up to the top there i can imagine maybe like a fuse box or maybe a valve can be put up to the top there no idea how you're meant to climb this by the way i don't know if there's going to be a ladder there maybe there's just like floors that you can run up and matt mentioned about a well and how it's going to be a little bit different so i can imagine maybe there's going to be a well somewhere inside the building maybe you take it and then you fall all the way down to the ground floor so you don't reset to basement they had a well right at the top and you didn't go straight down to the basement it's not completely safe maybe you could trap this as hitchhiking but the dynamic of the map just seems a lot different it looks like a lot of fun you've also got this part into the bottom left side like i just don't know how the map's gonna work you know how big the basement's gonna be can you just go from one door from that basement and go right to the top of the lumber mill i don't know and just a few other things that they mentioned the noise following nerf you know like you walk into bone chimes or you loud slam a door and you know the red noise notification follows you about they said they're going to decrease the time of that and i reckon this is probably into the future but they were talking about like raising the level 99 cap going a lot higher up, maybe being able to unlock stuff as well i think around february the 7th or 6th they said that that's going to be where the first update is so just to recap over everything they've got over 150 fixes in testing you've got danny's instant study they're going to make changes to that they're going to be changing how the grapple works leatherface is going to be able to destroy stuff a lot faster choose flyer and bomb squad the meta victim perks they're going to have a changes to pretty much get nerfed poison claws on nancy is going to be nerfed too leatherface is going to be able to instantly start his chainsaw a lot quicker i'm going to guess that they're the things we're going to be seeing at first and then slowly as time goes on you're going to get the skin the execution and the weapon packs so there's quite a bit to look forward to i think it's going to be good i think these victim perks that are getting changed and if a new map gets added into this a lot's going to change man it's going to change the dynamic flow of the game i think if they just span out all of the content and just give us bit by bit you know as time goes on keep the game a little bit refreshed change up the perks a little bit i think it'll make the game a little bit more refreshing to play instead of it just being the same old thing i mean that's the thing i play victim a lot of the time i can complain about choose flight being absolutely nerfed to the ground but at the same time it actually gives me more of a chance to try out new perks it's gonna change stuff up a little bit obviously having a johnny chase you about it's gonna be a lot more difficult but you know you gotta play around it we're gonna have to see into the future that's my thoughts on it i want you guys to let me know what you actually think what is the thing that you're most looking forward to i just wanted to cover it for you guys that didn't actually check into the stream so see you a lot later